Hey guys, I'm uh, making this video just to talk about the auto splitter for just the radio feature for CXBX, the Xbox emulator. Um, I don't see any people using it yet, and I like for people to use it just to get more tests out there. Um, I've got a couple people that have used it uh, here and there for like bits and pieces of the run, but like not a full run besides myself. Um, if people that are running the emulator during this trial period would use this, that would be beneficial for me to be able to make sure that it's working for multiple people. Um, the way to use it is first and foremost you want to make sure that you open the game first before opening up Live Split. Um, having the game completely open on this title screen right here where they're skating around will make this work if it's if Live Split's like open before this happens. Um, it's not going to work because it can't read the game and doesn't know that it's open. So just make sure you're on this screen. And then once you have that um, in live split, if you right click and go to edit splits, you'll see that it has this auto splitting is available. And you'll just hit activate on that. Um, you can go into the settings and you can see by default. I have any percent selected with all of the normal default splits that we would normally use. Um, there are two other categories you can choose from though. You can do souls percent and PJ percent and as of right now those are not check marked so it's only going to be looking for auto splits for the any percent mode. Um, the way that this works is Right now, the default number of splits uh, is 21 for any percent. And if you don't want some of these, you can uncheck them so that it won't split there. So for like example, some people um, like to do Skyscraper District as a uh, full thing with Highway Zero. Like they'll split for Skyscraper only after they finished the fight with the Immortals. So if you want just that one split, you would just uncheck the Skyscraper, and that way the timer would not split until it was done with Highway Zero. Uh, but by default, this is how the splits are. So you can minimize these to see it a little easier. But... um yeah, that's that's essentially how it works. Is you just choose the splits you want. Um, I'm going to be adding more options for splits in terms of locations that it will split later. But for right now, during this trial period for the emulator for speedruns, I just want to have like the basic um, stuff going. So, anyways, um, once you select all the ones you want, just hit OK. And you can get out of this. Make sure you've got the correct number of splits. Um, like I said, the I've got here's the numbers for the splits you would need. So any percent is twenty one, souls percent is twenty two, and then PJ percent is eight splits. So just make sure you have that amount of splits, or if you don't, uncheck the ones that you don't want. Like I said. Um, some of the the other places that I'd like to add, for example, would be stuff like um, the cop fights. Like, say you get done with a cop fight, it would split there. Um, say you get done with, and it, it, those are like cop fights inside of a, um, like say one in like Rakaku Dai. Like you get done with that one, and it would split for you, just so you would know if you had a fast or slow cop fight. Um, stuff like. Fortify residential zone, like say you get done with the blue slash green devices, it would split there, so you'd know that you'd have a fast first half or whatever. Or stuff like the death ball races, like each race would have its own split. Stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of adding later in the future. Um but anyways, once that's all set up, um you should be able to just hit new game. And you can see the timer started by itself. Um, it splits 
near the load screen um like it's not perfect on like the load screens like you would see most people do on xbox in terms of like we normally wait for the load screen to pop up like the huge blue you know screen and then we would split but this is reading when the game is thinking that the uh, level has ended and a new level has began so sometimes it is directly on the load screen and sometimes it's like right before or right after and i'm talking like you know point one point two seconds difference here of like it'll split later early depending on how the how it's reading the game so it's not going to be like it's it's basically like human error in a way and almost because we're never perfect anyways when we split so it doesn't really matter but it's it's going to be a little different you'll see maybe some glods or some pluses here and there if you're um super accurate on your splits but for the most part it should work um it also has like a reset function so if i if i reset back to the main menu it it resets itself as well um but yeah it it'll split um and if you like, like it'll split perfectly on you know starting a new game and ending uh the ending fight with akamu for any percent so you don't have to worry about those being like bad times in any way shape or form it's just the ones in between that may have like differences here or there um and if really if you wanted to you could go in and make it to where it would just start on um the new game which would be this one and just have the akuma one so literally you could have it to where it doesn't have any splits like if you unchecked all of these it would just literally start on the new game and never split until you finish the game and then it would, it, you know, that would work too. So whatever, whatever you want to do with this, it doesn't really matter. Um, Souls Percent's the same, except it just has the second Fortnite residential zone split, and then PJ Percent will end as, literally as soon as the fight, like as soon as you kill the last uh, poison jam, spray him to death, whatever, it ends like how it should. So, yeah, if you want to give this a try. Um, and, you know, let me know if anything breaks or if it just doesn't split somewhere or, you know, whatever you find. That way I can tweak some things maybe and help this to be better for everyone. At some point, I'd like to try to figure out how to read the uh, Xbox's memory in real time and then split have an auto split, you know, for the original Xbox as well, instead of just the emulator. But for now, it's just the emulator. So, yeah. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.